What's up, everyone? This is Ronnie just coming to you with a video. Been a little late. Um, got tied up. Been working too much. But uh, first day off in like, I don't know, 10 weeks or something like that. So uh, we're going to catch up on my videos. This is uh, basically from about things that we sold over the last like three weeks or so. Just some interesting things I'm going to cover. Um, we're going to talk about it. So if you're new to this channel, we're clothing resellers, mostly on eBay, Poshmark, a little bit on Grail. Don't really like that site all that much. But uh, if you want to see more videos from us, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and hit that little notification bell if you haven't been getting our videos. But let's get into a screenshot. Let's talk about some of the things we've sold this month. Um, forgetting how to do things over here. All right. So last video, all we talked about ties. I've been selling a lot of ties for some reason. Really odd. I don't usually sell. Ties are slowest thing to sell. There's really no ifs, ands, or buts about it. If you want to see how we ship a tie near the end of the last video, I talk about it. This was a tie we picked up just recently. I got right here. I picked this up and listed it 14 days ago. I paid about 5 bucks for this tie. I got it with a bunch of other things. I got it at a state sale. I think it was like six ties total. A three-piece suit and a woman blazer. And we were going back and forth on the price. And I knew I was paying up for these items because there's one thing in the lot I really wanted. So I kind of paid up for everything. I sold three ties already, made back about my initial investment. But this is a vintage Brooks Brothers tie. Has the BC College colors. You see right there, like that gold and burgundy color. And see right there, woven in England, all all uh all silk it's an older tie probably 70s maybe even could have been 60s but uh like i said we were into this for about five bucks approximately if you figured out what the ties were about four or five bucks per tie so uh sold about 30 bucks not bad at all um not sure what that one was supposed to be but here we go this is a Brooks Brothers slim fit non iron long sleeve dress shirt. You'll see, I got a pretty good price for this, which was thirty one fifty. The sleeve length on this puppy was thirty eight. This is long, very long sleeve right there. Just the sleeve length. Anytime you can get something that's a little bit different, um, you're gonna be. There's not too many people with this item on eBay, so if you want something. There's only so many people you can get it from. I believe this was French Cuff too. Yes, there was like there was like a dozen. Oh no, there was like six or seven of these at our Goodwill for a while. They put them up in the boutique section. They sat there for like three weeks at fifteen bucks. Nobody was interested. Then one day they marked them down to five bucks. I picked up a few of them. A lot of them had uh, wear on the collar points and also on the inside of the. Um, Cuffs where where you would fold the flip cuffs. Cuffs don't have any buttons. They take cuff links, and you could see there was a lot of wear in them. I'm usually not a fan of French cuff shirts. Picking them up, they seem to sell a little bit slower, but people still use them. People still want them. So we sold this one. This one sold in ten days. So not bad at all. Not bad. It was a Brooks Brothers. This is a non iron shirt once again. You could sell Brooks Brothers shirts. You can get good prices for them. This is has the golden fleece logo, the hanging sheep, or whatever it may be called. Really nice shirt. Two extra large, X double X, non iron. Really, the things you want to look for. Really nice blue with a striped pattern, as you see right here. This sold fairly quickly, also, and paid six bucks for it. And this sold in about 24 days. So not too bad. It was up for a little while, but it sold. No, sorry. This also sold in about 12 days. Sorry, I was looking at the wrong thing. This is a vintage, the Andover shop. It's a place in Andover, Massachusetts. They have another shop, I believe, too. It's a vintage tie. You can see it has like that. Mod Gras, uh, like style to it right there. It was different. 
some stuff from the Andover shop. It has somewhat of a following, like that Brooks Brothers, that uh, J Press, that um, I'm trying to think of like um, Selkwick kind of feel vibe to it. Seems like the same people that collect or wear that kind of stuff will buy these uh, these places, or somebody just wants a tie that's unique and different. I priced it a little bit up higher than other ties uh, just because of the uniqueness of this. And um, like I said, we were into these ties for about five bucks. This took 24 days to sell. So not too bad. I'll sell it. I'll be happy with it. This is probably like 70s, I'm guessing. But uh, hey, here we go right here. This is a... Try to get this right. Ethro tie. These are made in England. See the brand right here. Little flying like Pegasus horse. No, it's not mobile oil. Um, these are really nice ties. Really, they make some nice clothing. Some of it sells better than others. I picked up six of these ties for about thirty bucks. One had stains. We sold already. We sold two of them already. This one is our third one we've sold from that lot. And like I said, I paid probably about five bucks a tie, six bucks a tie. No, five bucks. And it took about three months to sell this one. It was like a cream color white, off white, or maybe well, it's white, with a, like a flower of some sort. I don't know what kind of flower that is. I ain't really take too much time to. Looks like a pineapple plant, maybe. I don't know. That's not a pineapple plant. I don't know what it is. But some type of flowery design. Somebody bought it. 40 bucks. I'm happy with it. Move on to the next. All right. This is a... Right here. A Bernelli Nepal shirt. Had this for a little while. We've had this probably approximately about four months when it sold. Picked it up for under five bucks. That much I know. Sold it for 45 bucks. Made in England. They make really good ply quality clothing. Don't come across it all that much. But there you go. Bruccinelli. Probably killing the name of it. But there you go. Really nice. This is like a more of a flannel-y kind of dress shirt to it. But it was nice. Nice pattern. Knew it was eventually going to sell. And it sold. This is a... Try to get this right here. This is a Burberry London polo shirt. This is a more newer polo shirt from them. Had a little bit of the Novacek print on it on the collar. I also had the uh, flying horse there, whatever it is, their logo. I don't think that's a Pegasus. These are their more, these are a new more, uh, these are more recent. These are probably from the last year or so. A lot of their stuff now, none of their stuff I think is made in England. Unless it's really high class. Uh, some of their stuff is made in Italy. But a lot of their stuff is made overseas. They've actually started making a lot of their stuff in China. Also Peru. Uh, some other countries too. It's kind of interesting how countries will talk about they don't want their stuff counterfeited. But then they go and sell their stuff. I mean go and have their stuff made overseas. This was, I paid probably about seven or eight bucks for this. It took about five weeks to sell, uh, five weeks to sell. And, you know, it's just a, your regular run of the mill gray polo shirt. But, uh, Burberry's the brand sold fairly decently. I mean, I'm happy with that. This is a brand that I do not pick up stuff from all that much. But you can see right here, this is a, I'm trying to, line this up here or somehow they all jumped offline alan flusher it's a linen and linen blend has this like salmon color to it size large really interesting um color summertimey found two other jackets when i found this one all were bright colored and surprisingly they didn't sell as fast as i thought they would Maybe it was because of my pricing. Maybe who knows. But this took about four months to sell. I was into this for about three bucks. Three or four dollars. I can't remember exactly how much. But uh, this is not a brand I would pick up all that much. I pick and choose what stuff I pick up from them. Um, 
It was linen and rayon mix. As a lot of their stuff does not sell well, but there are certain either colors or patterns, especially in sport coats, that will do well because of the pattern and not so much the um, the brand. And this was one of them. Uh, sold up for 68 bucks. These are a pair of polo golf shoes. These were technically new without tag, new without box, whatever you want to call it. Size 13. They had Cortex. Um, I only picked these up because they were like five bucks. Let's see right here. They're just a nice, clean golf shoe. Soft spikes, white wingtip style. Yeah, I was trying to figure out what I put in the title here, but uh. Paid five bucks for these, and these took 21 days to sell. And we got 80 bucks for them, so five and 80. I'll buy that all day long. Love it. This is a Brooks Brothers. Um, it's like a silk, linen, and cotton blend. It was a good size, 46 regular. Getting out of that, um, you know that that's. Seems like almost every jacket I find now is a 40 or 42. So when you get out of there, you get yourself a little bit of chance to sell stuff a little. You get a little different. There's less as you get higher, bigger, and smaller, and so on and so forth. I had this like white and black um, like print to it. it makes it gray, basically. There's the tag, Brooks Brothers, nothing special. There's the mix, silk, linen, and cotton. This one overseas, made in Italy. Really nice looking jacket. It still had the buttons, still had the material in the pocket. It had some of the tags inside the pocket still. I don't think it was worn. It could have been worn maybe once. Three button front, which is a little bit of slower seller. But as you'll see here, we did sell some three button suits and sport coats. So I'm not sure if that's coming around a little bit lately or whatnot, but coming back in style, things come and go. And we sold this a hundred bucks. This sold and went to Italy or France or somewhere over there, Spain. I'm thinking Spain, and they paid about twenty bucks to ship. So this weight, this weighed under two pounds, went in a larger poly bag and sent it on its way. And that sold in 20 days. We sold that. That sold pretty quickly. Um, you know, like the material, I think, had a lot to do with it and the time of season. This was, this is kind of a good buy and a bad buy. We picked up about six of these sweaters over two trips to Maine a few years when we got our Suburban. So that was December of 2016. So just at the end of 2000, we went up to Maine. Crossed over into upstate New York. Went on a thrifting trip for about 10 days with our new truck at the time. And the first time we went and picked up a bunch of these sweaters, picked up three of them. They were like three for 90 bucks or something like that at the barber uh, outlet up there in uh, Maine. I forgot the town it's in. But we picked up a lot. I went for the bigger sizes ones because I didn't think it was that bad. We sold some stuff in the barber outlets before. And I done fairly well with them but i noticed there wasn't that many when i did research originally but a lot of people jumped on this around the same time and these were a little hard to sell we sold like two or three within the first few months and then summer came and it just seemed like there were, i think we got one left now we've been getting about a hundred this one sold for 108 we were getting up to 150 for some of them but I think it's just the, um, you see right there, they black out the O. They do it with Orvis, too. They'll black out the O on some of the sweaters. But they retail for 250 bucks. They're made in Portugal. This is a really nice, heavy, thick um, knit sweater. I forgot what the material was for this. What was the material? 100% wool. So, um. Yeah, like I said, we sold some of them. They moved fairly quickly. We got our money back. We were actually in profit fairly quickly, but 
you know, we got one left now. Hopefully, it's sell this winter. But there's a little on the longer tail, you know, for sure. Whoops. Hey, stop it. This is a Burberry trench coat, vintage trench coat. There's a size 46. Regular had the removable wool lining. There's the older Burberry's tag. This is pre-99. They dropped the S apostrophe X thing after that. So right there, 100% wool lining. The lining zips out right through here. I've never been able to sell these for crazy money. A lot of people do. This had some floors with some rips in the fabric here. Um, nothing crazy, but I was into this for nothing. I got this from another local reseller. Uh, she didn't list it. She was moving. She gave me a bunch of stuff. Uh, good old friend. You know, she's moved a bunch of different times. God bless her soul in the last year. Uh, every time she moves, she gives me a bag of stuff and, and sold it. You know, it sold, uh, it took approximately about two months to sell this. Once I did get it listed, it took about two months to sell. Um, I think I had it in my own, on my death pile for a little while, which I don't really have a death pile. My wife was away when I think when I got this originally and it sat for a little while. So I didn't feel like taking pictures of it, but it's all 119.99. Some sell better. If you get like the camel hair lining or you can get the, what's the other, um, cashmere lining, they'll do better. Some people do a lot better with these. I, I've never had the greatest luck trying to move them. Some of the newer ones I can get better. This is a Zegna right here. This is a more uh, recent tag. This is from about 2003 ish. To about 2013, this is their tag they use. This was a nice black and blue sport coat, size 40 regular, sold for 126. It took us about five weeks to sell this. There's the tag right there. And it was just really nice. See if we can get another size of the tag right there. There's the tag. These sizes are in European, so it's Basically, Europeans 10 sizes larger. So if it says 50 regular, basically a 40 regular US. And also you can confirm that by when you do the pit to pit measurement. It should list within like 42 to 44 inches, uh, depending on the style. But it has a bunch of different things on here that I have no idea what they mean. Sold this fairly quickly. Like I said, we paid we paid about 15 bucks for this. I actually support this off of eBay from another seller. And I'm trying to find out. You can see the print right there. It was a really nice uh, print. It doesn't really come out that well in these pictures. But it's really nice. Picked up a bunch of sport coats. We've already sold now two of them. You know, sometimes I'll source online for stuff. Once again, three button front. Um, not your most popular, but they do so. <coughs> this took about two to three months to sell somewhere in that time frame. If I had to say like 75, 80, 80 days, this is a three piece suit. It was a tweed wool, which is a scratchy wool, had these leather dome buttons, really nice. Once again, size 40 regular. You see right here, it was really nice. Had the vests. There's the buttons right there. Nice pattern to this. I mean, really nice jacket. Did have some little moth holes in the jacket. Let's see if we can get some of them out there. There was one right there. Another one there. It's kind of hard to see. There was a little bit bigger of one. There was the pants, flat front. There's the jackets, half line, see right there. The line does not go all down all the way. We paid, I paid, I think, five bucks for this on a half off day at a Salvation Army. There's no real brand to it, I think. I can't, this says like Georgetown something on it. I just bought it because of the pattern, because of the, the style of jacket. It is tweed, three piece suit. This was going to sell regardless of who made this jacket. And turn $5 into $127.50. I'm happy with it. 
like I said, it had some holes in the jacket, but other than that, it was great. I mean, they, they could wear it as is or get them repaired. Not a big deal. This is a brand that we, I like picking up this brand. It's actually underrated. A lot of people probably don't even know what it is. Southwick, I would say it's on par with like Brooks Brothers, um, J Press in that range of suits. Really nice. It was a more of a, a flannel material. Size 44 regular. Here's the tag right here, Southwick. It's, a, it's definitely a vintage tag. It's really nice suit. Blue pinstripe. There's the pants, flat fronts. I mean, they went they went to pleated pants for a while, and now it's back to flat front. You can see styles come and go all the time. But uh, sold this for $140. We were into this for about 10 bucks. It took about four months to sell. There's the inside tag. Nobody filled out the information. I had to measure up on it, so... Measurements are down here, blah, blah, blah. People can figure out what they want. But, uh, you know, it's old. I'm happy. Uh, here was another sale right here. I've had this for a little while. I thought this was going to sell a little bit faster than it did. Picked this up actually at a TJ Maxx or a Marshalls. I don't know. It was a Marshalls. Picked this up at a Marshalls on the winter clearance in February, semi-annual clearance. So it was the end of February. This took about six months to sell. I paid $39 for it. it. It's the Brooks Brothers 818 line. It was new with tags. Fitzgerald is the cut or the fit, I should say. 818 is the line. Fitzgerald is the cut. They have Madison, um, Milano, different cuts. See right there from the on the, on the pants, I tell you, basically 44 regular is the suit size or the suit jacket size. And then waist is the W38. Same thing right there. You can tell right here this is from season 2011. So they got this. It was a cotton blend, which is a little bit different. Most of the time you'll see wool. So I thought this would sell a little bit better because somebody would want this like in a – more tropical climate of the U.S., so not really tropical, but might be more warmer climate. This would be a nice suit to wear or, you know, maybe overseas somewhere. But it took a little while to sell. I'm happy still with the return, 39 into 250. I mean, who wouldn't want that return? This was our best sale of the month right here. This is a Scott men's leather jacket. I love this brand. I haven't found this brand this much. This took 26 days, so I had to pay up for this. This was in our Goodwill boutique section, and I passed over it for like, I don't know, about a week it sat there. Nobody wanted to pay the price for it. And I did research, found out this, uh, found out the um, single rider was the um, the model of jacket. There really wasn't too many on eBay that I could find, and there was none on there for this size. So once you figure out that, I figured I would pay up the money. I paid actually sixty dollars for this jacket at our Goodwill, but you can see it has the lining. It was in perfect condition. Took 26 days to sell. We got $242, $342 basically for it. It went out to California. It costed probably about 15 bucks to ship. But hey, I'm still happy. I mean, I still made probably what, 220 bucks after paying back the jacket, eBay fees, shipping, and everything like that. So, you know, what's that? Three and a half times your money. I mean, it's not bad. I'll take it. Big scale like that, very happy for it. So that's about it. Uh, hopefully to be making more videos here coming up pretty soon. Now that time is kind of slowing down a little bit. And uh, 
not get my camera back for some reason. There we go. There we go. So that's about it. I mean, just selling some stuff. We've been I I, I listed some things a few days ago and I actually and like it it things just it, it took forever to I mean it took me a month to get things listed. I literally didn't list for over a month. And then the last time I listed before that, it was actually five weeks before I listed. So I'd be actually happy to get back into the routine of listing stuff and getting stuff done. Um, my wife's work is winding down here soon, so I'll have more time to have get her help get stuff done. I'm still trying to get all my listings from that picture glitch taken care of. Um, eBay's not going to fix it, and I think I have about 30 more to get taken care of. So we've been slowly taking care of that slowly. There's no time. No time. Amazon's been doing great. Facebook has been doing great selling over there. So, I mean, there's definitely more ways to sell stuff. But eBay and selling clothes is what I love and what I do. We're going to have to scale it up for quarter here. So, got to make that money when it's available. Like, comment, subscribe. See you guys later. Have a good day.